Hi everybody, in this video we're going to learn about mouse hover effect using the class constructor. So let's see what this program does. I have a bunch of randomly moving bubbles and if I hover my mouse over a bubble, that bubble will change color. And then when I leave, it will go back to the color it was. So how does this work? I can't write an if statement for every single one of these bubbles to check whether my mouse is over its position or not. I need a much better way. So let's look at this code and this constructor. Now, if you don't know what a constructor is, you should go and watch um, a short video uh, how constructors work and what they are. Basically, you're just creating a clone of an object. If you scratch, think of the clone block. It's, this is very similar. Each object is created from this bubble has a set of properties and you can set those properties and values in here. Each one of these bubbles has an X value. So this.x, and a y value, this dot y, this dot radius has a different color, a different RGBA value that I use for the color. And we're keeping track of each of these bubbles, whether our whether the mouse is over it with this this dot over property. So they're all set to false. And when your mouse goes over it, this dot brightness property changes from zero to a higher number to make it look white. So how does this work? How do each of these bubbles know what's going on? So let's look at the display function in this constructor. So it says stroke this color. So this red value, green value, blue value, alpha value. So it's a random color for each one. If this over is true, so if this over is true, then it's changing the brightness of that bubble. And then when it goes away, it's no longer true. Then it goes back to its original color, which is stored in the property of that particular bubble. So each property, each bubble has its own set of values for these properties. So how do we know it's true? So we look at the, the move property. So in the move property, we just have one if statement that checks to see if the mouse X is between the left hand side and the right hand side of that circle using the radius and if the mouse y value is between the top and the bottom of that circle using the y position and the radius just like we looked at uh, in the last video with the instances and if if the mouse is over it we switch it to true and then that true value will determine the color of it in the display function there's way less code in using the constructor than there is in the instances. You're just putting the code in the constructor and it constructs that object with these properties, with these values, and each object will check whether the mouse is over it by comparing its position to the mouse. And then it will change its own property, just the property of that one object based on whether that mouse is on or off of it and then it will display the color of it based on whether it that this dot over property is true or false. Yeah, so it's a much simpler way, I think, of controlling a lot of objects to see if your mouse is over it. This is a very good method. 